Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a compact, fully automatic mail and delivery system in Minecraft using a sorting system and rail system. Here are the resources you need for this project. 240 paper or any of the same kind of material, 10 stairs, 10 chests, 2 sand, 264 building blocks, 35 redstone torches, 60 hoppers, 10 detector rails, 40 normal rails, 53 powered rails, 12 levers, 23 repeaters, 2 cactus, 21 comparators, 5 slabs, 62 redstone, and 1 dispenser. Also, 10 item frames are optional. So basically, what this is, is a post office. Um, so, let's get a minecart chest. Alright, so, when a minecart chest enters a station, the person sending it will put in, like, a piece of paper from station 1 through station 9. And then basically they'll put this in the cart, and whatever stuff, whatever other stuff they want to send to that station, and they'll send it off. And it'll deposit the paper, it's changed the rail so it will go down this lane, it'll send it off, and once it leaves, it resets it so another minecart can come in. And as you can see, there's still we still have the stuff you want to send to the station, just not the paper. Alright, so let's make this. So we're gonna get this block, we're gonna go at 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's get a chest. And we'll place chests on all these blocks. Make sure to press shift. Um, or you can do chest, trap, chest, chest, trap, chest, and so on. So, once we have this, we don't need these blocks anymore. And actually, what we'll do is we'll place a block here. We can destroy all these. Let's get a hopper. And let's place hoppers all the way along here. And then let's place hoppers going into the, this line like this. All right, so now what we want to do is get some, get a comparator and place it along here. All right, uh, let's get started on the actual rail system itself. So we'll do blocks all the way along here. And now we'll go two out every other block. And then let's take another block, put it down here, do another row of blocks, and um, We'll do the same alternating two out blocks, except um, sort of like this crisscross pattern. Now, what we'll do is uh, we have our pathways for the minecarts to go on. So we'll get some rails. And what we'll do now is just place rails like this. And on the bottom too. place a detector rail like this and uh, up here too. All right so we've kind of got in the rail system sorted out for now so let's finish the sorting system. So all right place a block up here make a row of blocks all the way along here and um, just to make things look a tiny bit nicer we're gonna place stairs above here, and this means we can open the chests and kind of cover up what's behind. Alright, now let's get use this hopper and place it going into these stairs and another row of hoppers, one second, each going into these chests, like so. Okay, now I'm just going to get a different colored block so you can, can kind of see all the different circuits. So place two blocks like this and another block like this kind of making this L shape let's get our comparator again we have one right here place it all along this row 
and we'll place another line of wool blocks, get a normal redstone dust, and place it like this. Okay, now, two blocks below, we'll make another line, get a repeater, uh, we just want all these set at one tick, and another row of redstone, and another row of blocks. Alright, so let's get our torches and place them along here. And so, and then finally, what we'll do is we'll have two hoppers going up, a hopper here. Actually, no. Let's, uh, so let's make another kind of slice of this sorting system and what this slice will be is just extra stuff so this won't have a station this is just any overflow items so uh, make these hoppers going into each other until they're under this hopper and so let's get our stations so you can name these pieces of paper whatever you want. I just named them Station 1, Station 2, Station 8, Station 9, and such, uh, just to make it more simple. But you can name them whatever you want, just as long as you uh, name it the right thing when you send the minecart in. Okay, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the reset system so that every time a minecart leaves the station, it'll set it uh, to what it was before. So let's take some green wool just to tell these things apart. And actually, one thing we need to do is for every one of these blocks right here, we need to replace it with a slab. So, uh, sorry about that if you already placed these blocks. Okay, so let's just place those rails back in really quickly. Okay, and now you wanna place all these green blocks. Make sure there's one for under each detector rail here, and um, we're gonna go down one for each of these. And we're gonna go like this. And also, under each one of these hoppers, we're gonna place a line, this bowl, and then we're gonna take a torch place it under each one of these and then now what we can do is we take wool all the way along get a repeater and we want to place a repeater going into each one of these redstone torches now we're going to take redstone dust and place it all the way along here and then on each of these little green pathways like that. Okay, now the reset system is complete so when a minecart passes on one of these detector rails it'll reset the whole station. And we just gotta change these back. Oh, by the way, um, make sure your station is facing east. So, or not east, sorry, west. Um, just to make sure the rails line up the correct way. Uh, that's how I did my station, so. All right, so now we have the reset system complete. So, let's add the rails in and get everything completed. We're pr pretty close to being done. So let's just take some stone again. And so this line right here coming in will just be the incoming rail. So uh, you can have a bunch of different stations at different places and then all have them, all the minecart chests leading into this one railway, just uh, converging. 
just to make sure they all come in at the same point. It'll make things a lot easier. Just power these rails here. Now, I get a normal rail, like so, and then go back to powered rails, and then normal rail, powered rails, and what we're going to do here is take two blocks, place these six blocks here, we're going to get repeaters, okay, place redstone like this, and then place a torch so it turns on, and then quickly replace it with redstone, and it'll make this flashing thing. And what this will do is a redstone clock. When a minecart chest comes through here, it'll slow it down, and this will give the whole station some time to sort through everything and make sure the station is ready. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out one like this, actually two like this. We're gonna go down one like that, then another time like that, and we're gonna place normal rail, powered rail, two normal rails, and a powered rail. And now, out of here, we're gonna place some powered rails, a normal rail, and then a powered rail. Just surround this less powered rail we placed here, and then put a torch under it. And uh, the only way to power these two rails without interfering with these hoppers here is just to take a block and place it like that. So that's what you need to do. Make sure this rail is powered too. You can use a lever or a torch. I just using a lever because it's easier. Same with this here. All right. Now um, what we're going to do is extend this and Like so. Uh, you don't need to use powered rails for all this. You can just to make it faster or uh, whatever you want. And I'm just gonna power this here. Okay, so now what will happen is we'll send this minecart along, go along here, slow down just to give everything time speed up, fall down, and go all the way along. Like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is make a system to change this rail based on whether it's going to the lower level or upper level. So, place a torch like this on each of these spaces. We'll just use yellow wool to show another circuit. So place a yellow wool on top of each of these torches, and more torches, like that. And then another row like that, above it, redstone on top. And what we're going to do is place redstone, or place a block right there with redstone on top. Then we're gonna put, uh, let's extend this. You can do this basically however you want. It's just, this is how I'm doing it. This is a mess. All right, so basically what this will do is, let's say, the minecart is going to station one, which is on the top level. Or no, it's on the bottom level. This will switch the rail to go to the bottom level. And let's go to this. Let's say, or it's going to station two, which is on the top level. It'll change it so that when the minecart falls down, it'll go up to station two. Like that. Okay, so we've gotten that done. Now we're just gonna make sure everything can leave the station nicely. Place blocks right here too. Okay, and now we're gonna go two blocks below like this, 
place a line of blocks like so. Go one up, place another line of blocks, and then we're gonna just place some rails here. Um, they can be whatever kind of rails, you just need to make sure along this row that there'll be powered rails and then whatever else after can be any kind of rails you want. Now you're just going to power power everything down here with some levers. Alright, so now when a minecart leaves, let's just demonstrate this. And it will be sent off. Okay, and it will um, go along a bit faster. Okay, so we're just going to add a few things. We're going to add a dispenser. Gonna get place it like that. Now we will make a hopper going into it. And now we'll surround it with blocks. Like so. And what I'm going to use, this is just to destroy overflow items that you don't want, like extra papers that say Station 1 and Station 2. Um, so. I just place a cactus, but you can do lava or whatever you want. I'm just not going to do lava because it might catch the bowl on fire. All right, and then um, we're going to do a tiny circuit using a comparator and a repeater. Get some redstone dust. Actually, you don't need redstone dust right there. Just like so. And what this will do is when this is full, like let's say we put some cactus in here, is it will shoot it out and destroy it until it's all gone. All right, and then the final thing we're gonna do is let's place a powered rail like so. Let's also place. We don't actually need these rails down here. All right, we'll go all the way along here. Let's get a normal powered rail, or normal rail, chest, we have our hopper, let's place a chest here, we actually need to place a hopper instead. Let's place a rail, like this, and, um, oops, I did something accident. Let's get some sand. Let's get a cactus and place a block over it um, just so it doesn't grow. All right, I broke this. Sorry. Okay, so basically what this is if, is, if nothing is selected, so let's get a minecart chest to show this. If nothing is selected, it will go all the way along here take its time, come over here, go all the way along this track, and pop into this chest. Oop, I did, did that wrong. Here, let's just take a hopper, like so to demonstrate. So, so it'll go into this hopper. All right, so that's the minecart station. Um, it is a bit resource heavy, but I just thought it was too cool not to show, so um, thanks for watching.